This is your 28storms.com tropical weather update for Friday, September 23rd. We will get to Hurricane Hillary in the eastern Pacific in just a moment, but starting off with the Atlantic, we have Tropical Storm Ophelia just to the east of the Lesser Antilles, and we also have a new tropical wave off the coast of Africa that is now being given a 30% chance of development. However, even if that wave does develop, it is unlikely to impact land. In yesterday afternoon's video, we noted that dry air and a lot of wind shear could actually cause Tropical Storm Ophelia to dissipate over the central Atlantic, and it came close to doing so during the overnight hours. The surface circulation lost most of its convection, and therefore the storm has weakened considerably. At this time yesterday, winds were 65 miles per hour. As of the late morning advisory from the Hurricane Center, those winds have decreased to 40 miles per hour, and they expect this to weaken to a tropical depression as it passes just to the northeast of the Lesser Antilles but it could intensify a little bit more as we go into the southwest Atlantic. They expect this to regain its tropical storm intensity as it begins to recurve toward the northeast, and that is the main reason why Bermuda should still keep up with the weather over the next week or so. The model guidance envelope also remains to the northeast of the Caribbean. However, I still continue to favor the lower end of the model guidance envelope, and that is due to the storm's current intensity. I expect this to be fairly weak throughout the forecast period, and so therefore it should have a tendency to remain on a slightly more westerly track than the overall model consensus is indicating. Now this video is being produced shortly before the 5 p.m. Hurricane Center advisory. Based on the latest satellite trends, I would not be surprised if they maintain this as a tropical storm or even slightly bump up those winds to 45 miles per hour. We see that convection is trying to make a comeback over the surface circulation, so the storm is a little bit more organized compared to what it was just 12 hours ago. But this storm still has a long road ahead of it. As it continues to move in a general west-northwest direction, it's going to have to continue dealing with this mid-Atlantic trough, and that's going to generate a lot of shear and dry air. And much like yesterday, I am still fairly confident that over the next three to four days, Ophelia is going to weaken and open into a tropical wave axis. Now, once it gets into the southwest Atlantic over the next four to five days, there is some model guidance that would like to show the upper level environment becoming slightly more favorable, and we could see a little bit of reintensification as it begins to recurve in the general direction of Bermuda. However, the ECMWF model continues to have this as a open wave axis beginning in roughly two days and continuing throughout the forecast period as it recurves. And really quickly over here in the eastern Atlantic, this is the tropical wave being given that 30% chance of development. It is also being designated as 90L invest, so the Hurricane Center is closely monitoring this for development. It already looks fairly healthy on the visible satellite and the infrared. We see that the convection is located fully wrapped around the potential low-level center although it still needs to come together a little bit more to really be anywhere close to tropical depression status and the water vapor shows a fairly healthy environment for slow intensification to the south of the Cape Verde Islands but once again I'm really not concerned about the system as it looks like it has a very good chance of remaining out at sea. Switching over to the eastern Pacific we are dealing with one of the most impressive hurricanes of the 2011 season including both the Atlantic and eastern Pacific of course I'm talking about Category 4 Hurricane Hillary with maximum sustained winds of 145 miles per hour and the National Hurricane Center is forecasting a peak intensity of 150 miles per hour and it's really not that far away from Category 5 status. Winds would have to be over 155 miles per hour for it to be an official Category 5. Now it's very rare to get a storm of that type of magnitude so usually it's not feasible to be that bold in forecasting such an event but it does have an outside chat at becoming a Category 5 over the next 24 hours. We'll just have to wait and see if it actually does so. But overall, the forecast is pretty straightforward over the next few days. It's going to begin moving into a slightly more hostile environment, but it still, should still maintain its intensity as a major hurricane through the early morning hours on Monday. And days 4 and 5 are when the track forecast becomes a little bit more uncertain. We still have half of the models taking this more out to sea, and yet we still have some other models that are trying to turn this more toward the Baja Peninsula. And so we will still be keeping a very close watch on Hillary through the weekend and into the early part of next week. Now the good news is that if it does make that turn toward the Baja, it's more than likely going to do so in a very slow manner. And the sea surface temperatures are a little bit cooler out here, so hopefully we could get some significant weakening before the system were to make that hypothetical landfall. This is a look at the most recent model plots, and we certainly do not want 
the two of these models to verify because this would ensure that Hillary would stay over warmer water in addition to recurving toward land. But the good news is that both of those models have not had a very good track record during the 2011 season. And the models that take this a little bit more toward the west, at least over the next three to four days, are a little bit more reliable. So it looks fairly certain that this is going to continue on a west-northwest heading for the next 72 to 96 hours. If it does make that bend toward the northeast, it's going to do so a lot more gradually. And that is when we have the cooler water temperatures that could be in our favor. In the meantime, however, Hillary continues to be a monster of a hurricane. In fact, the latest visible satellite representation shows that Hillary is probably more impressive now than ever. This eye is becoming increasingly better defined, well within that central dense overcast. There's really no indication of wind shear whatsoever. And also notice that it looks like the eye is tracking ever so gradually to the north of the most recent Hurricane Center forecast track. However, once we're dealing with major hurricanes, it is quite common to see wobbles both to the north and to the south of the track. So this is more than likely going to iron itself out over the next 6 to 12 hours and resume that general west-northwest path. And here is the latest look at the enhanced infrared. And this storm really does not have much in the way of any significant flaws. If anything, we don't really like this convection a little bit to the west of the central dense overcast. We want to see the coldest cloud tops right around that eye wall, but nevertheless this hurricane is very well defined and on the latest water vapor, again there's really no indication of a lot of wind shear. In fact there's a lot of northerly shear just to the east of the storm, but this is just acting to enhance the outflow channel and the same can be said to the northwest of the hurricane where we have a lot of southwest winds out ahead of it. So both of the outflow channels are looking very healthy this afternoon. Now this is the regional water vapor out ahead of Hurricane Ophelia. Here it is located just to the southwest of Mexico. We still have a fair amount of mid to upper level ridging over the Baja Peninsula, but this trough that is beginning to come into northern Mexico is the start of what the models are beginning to see. The trough is expected to continue deepening, and so therefore we could have a bit of a weakness set up over the Baja Peninsula, especially as we go into the medium range. But as of right now, Hillary is still at least a good five days away from the Baja Peninsula. We still have plenty of time to monitor this hurricane. And elsewhere, we do not have any other significant tropical cyclone threats at this time. So overall, we're still not looking all that bad on this Friday afternoon. And stay tuned throughout the weekend for more 28storms.com tropical weather updates.